my new video. This video is about the next episode in the Game Sense series, which is about map awareness. Uh, there were five tips and tricks. There were five tips that you can use to be aware of your uh, the map and your surroundings. They're not numbered. I just explain them. If you guys want a full in-depth video about all the tips, and I'll ex explain them even better, just like the video and comment down below that you want it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello everyone, and here's the tips and tricks video for map awareness. So my first tip for all of you guys is when playing ranked with a team that you can talk to, don't look at the map often. Because if you're good with your team and you are calling everything out, you should already know where people are. Because everyone should be telling you where they spotted a person or where they got killed and everything like that. So when you're playing with a team in ranked or ju just in public and you're talking with your teammates and they know everything and you're sh uh, calling everything out, you should not be looking at your map often. But when playing solo, then you should be. So that brings me to the, my second tip, is if you're playing solo, that's when you should be looking at your map more often. Because that's when you won't be able to get, the, get to know the map more with your teammates and be aware of all the enemy players. That's when you should be using your map. So that's when right now I'm just in a... Um, AI, so I won't be able to talk um, to my teammates because I'm playing AI. But normally, if I was talking with them, they'd be telling me there's a guy at spawn, and then there's a guy, uh, the two crossing middle, and another one crossing middle, and things like that. They'd be calling everything out for me. But when playing solos, they will not be calling things out. You'd have to look at the map and know where everyone is. So if you if I take a look at the map, you can see these red dots. These are the, my enemies that are shooting. If you look at the guy right next to the bus and watch, he, one of them will shoot. You'll see that right here he's shooting and he's on the map. So the red is the enemy and the blue triangles is your teammates. So when they're shooting, you will see them on the map. Unless you have a UAV, which will... Uh, automatically put them on the map forever unless they're using ghost so that's what you should be look out for if i see look i see it, this guy is using ghost but there's a guy right in front of me and then there's uh, there are two people right there and i can see that on the map i see that there's a guy right here that he just got killed and then there are two people right there so use your map when playing solos you have to use it more and there will be times where you're checking your map and then you get caught uh, and you you get surprised and there will be times that that happens so you have to find the right timing of when there's uh, nobody see like there's nobody here i take a peek at my map and then I know where everyone is. You can even open it up sometimes. Like that you'll be able to see where everyone is. So my third tip for you guys is spawns. And knowing where everyone's spawn is. Right now, my team spawn is right here. So if I, that means I know where the enemy's spawn is. And it's back there. It's over here. So it's back there. Where no, none of my team players are. That's where their spawn is. So you should keep an eye on that. So that you know when uh, where everyone is. And that if you need to get to that spawn. You'd be able to switch it. So right now. If I wanted to switch the uh, spawns. And make them spawn on top. I'd have to move up. Let me just move up. And then I'd have to switch spawns with them. Which means so they won't be able to spawn here. I can't shoot. They won't be able to spawn here. I'd have to. Because I'd be here. And then I'd need all my team over here. So that's my third tip for all of you. And now my fourth tip. Is. Be aware of the 
other enemy and team players and be aware of where they are. I, I explained that, so it's pretty self-explanatory. So, yeah, you just have to be aware of where they are so that you know how to and you know where they are and you know if you need to play aggressive for... I can't shoot. If you need to play aggressive or passive, if you're losing, if your team is doing well and everything like that. And my th my last tip for all of you is to predict your players. You have to predict your players and know your players. The more you play, the better you'll get at it because you know all the spots. Like if you look over there, that's an awesome spot right there for S and D on this map. And you should always be hard. Sometimes you should hard scope that spot because they could be a sniper right there. Then, then uh, when playing hard points, they will always be uh, someone. If you spawn over there, they will always uh, be someone running up here, and they will always be someone that tries to run up here and get to the first hard point, just like that. You should just know your players and predict what they're going to do, and you'll just get a better with that when you the more you play. So that was, that was all my tips for you guys for map awareness. If you guys want a more in-depth video, because this wasn't extremely in-depth, uh, just comment down below. Zombie Apocalypse.